All right, ladies and gents, welcome to the smallest slopes ever. Slopes, a hidden cup map. Hidden cup five on the horizon, very close. And uh, I did see a screenshot of this a week or two ago, and I think it looks freaking adorable, dude. I think it looks amazing. And these guys, they're here for war, and so they are going to try and steal resources from each other. Ozone has wandered over to the enemy side and is already stealing a boar. And Matador didn't know he had a boar over there because <laughs> he went forward to steal sheep. <laughs> and he just saw the boar run past, so I'm pretty sure he's thinking, oh, that's interesting. Oh, this could be huge, actually. Ooh. Ooh, scout is weak. Okay, this could be a double lame. This could be an early GG, maybe. This could be really bad for Ozone. Matador has to do this while also taking this at the other side. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we can understand it. We can understand it, but that was brutal. Villager dead over here. And then the eagle's dead. Now, Matador is like, it's fine. I'm Mayans. I start with an extra vill anyways. This is completely fine. And just walks over again and is going to bring in this board. I mean, at least there's that. But holy cow, that was brutal. Not the first time we've seen players try and do so much at the start of these games and then struggle on these small maps. So it does show they're human, which is nice. Um, So Scout's still alive for Ozone, which can help with a bit of vision. Like maybe he will eventually find these sheep that are currently hiding in the corner. You're not so hidden when you're hiding on a tiny map, though. It's much easier to find you. Uh, the scout can push in some deer, which we are currently seeing, and that can help for food underneath the TC. Uh, Ozone, as well, can... He's moved over here to chop wood, while we have Matador chopping wood on the other side. Now, sieves... Uh, Mayans start with the extra vill, like I said. They cannot make things like scouts, but they're very good with archers. And we've seen very cheap archer... Uh, sorry, we, we haven't seen cheap archers, but we've seen archers be very strong. So, I like that. I also think that the Mayans, with, since they research Loom instantly, can do things like this. Uh, sorry, they don't research it instantly, but you're always getting it at the start. And so, this could just be annoying. Uh, could have led to some Vil kills, potentially. But Ozone quick-walled it, and Ozone's going to get Loom. And Now, Matador has to be careful. Because now that the villagers are, are the same strength, and there's more of them from Ozone. This could be a problem. The sheep. Have they escaped? What happened to the sheep? Did the sheep... Guys, did the sheep go home already? I think they must have. So Slopes is all about uh, options on the sides. And so Matador has tried to make it awkward to take the resources here. I think the sheep probably went home. Oh, you know what's funny? So... I don't think the poles can actually fit a full work up here. Every other sieve has a mill, which is two by two tiles, which you could fit here. But poles have that giant full work. Full works are probably awful for this map. You could fit it here, but you are not going to get farms around full works very easily with how tiny this map is. Yeah, see this? This mill is actually... Oh, this mill is amazing! Perfect. It's nice and snug. Also, look at all these sheep. 11 sheep for Matador? Whoa, man. Well, there goes the full work now. And Matador, I think his position is pretty strong. Obviously, losing the, the resources early hurt. Losing the eagle, but this is fine. Scouted this area already. Sees the deer moving and is just going to shoot him down. That way, they can't be pushed making it more awkward for his opponent. There goes Ozone on the way to the Feudal Age. You cannot wall on the rock terrain, so quick walling your way out of a problem there could be really difficult, which we're seeing here be a problem here for Matador. Matador is bringing another Vill, but I don't know if this Vill will want to be here. And Matador actually used her to body block and create some space. Very small map. But very quick up times, and we see a low elo mining camp for Ozone. Will it be stone, or will it be gold, or will it be both for the Colombian? Looks like he's going to go for a tower rush. 
which in a normal game would make sense when it's this tiny. But again, we the towers are customized, so the towers have half the range. Ozone's maybe going to think, though, a tower is a tower, and it could still work. I mean, Polish villagers do regenerate starting in feudal age. So in a, a villager war with the Poles is actually really solid. Did end up killing a villager. So all the weak vills will slowly heal up with the Poles soon. Oh, man, it is a boxing match. We picked a good time to add the boxing emote to the channel. Love that emote. Okay, well, here I am trying to break this day, this game down for you. And I have no clue what to say. Villager's dead, though, so there's that. Uh, house gets blocked. That's fun. More boxing happening. Now, again, poles should be stronger in the long run in these instances. A lot of bumpage. There was a comment between some of the other games where uh, Matador said that he felt like villagers didn't path consistently. I, I don't know exactly. Maybe he was just a little annoyed. He, he lost two games in a row, so maybe it was part of that. He has lost two games in a row again. Last time that happened, he won two straight. So far, there haven't been any towers up, right? Because it's just been vil fighting. Normally, producing villagers consistently in these instances is really strong. Look at Matador building palisades on the full works where the farms would go. <laughs> That's really funny. But he lost another Vill. He's lost five units in this game. Five eco units. Hmm. I mean, Matador pulled... Uh, sorry, Ozone pulled a lot of Vills, so couldn't always create them consistently, but did also kill a lot. He the barracks for Matador. Which I believe means he is planning on trying to go for archers. His wood eco, though, is now pretty brutal. He's just chopping the wood towards the middle. Now, I don't think these towers are in range of each other, and we could actually see Matador go rush this down if he wanted to. Remember, it's three, range, three and a half range on a tower, so this is not walled in. This can't be walled in. Neither can this, actually, so yeah. For now, it seems like Matador is just going to let the towers go up because they're not actually doing anything. And now we have Ozone building more towers over here. I think, like, isn't Ozone completely screwed without defensive towers if Matador can just chill and bring in archers to the other areas? Like, if he could sit archers here and here, for example. This is really fascinating. Again, I really don't think these towers are in range of each other. I think Matador is attacking the, the wrong tower, though. I think what you want to be focusing on is you want to be focusing on the towers where the villagers are not. Easier said than done. But like, this, you start with this tower, for example. Oh my god, Ozone's coming to the middle for more. See, once you get like three archers, the villagers really start to go down fast for the enemy. So this is still dangerous for Ozone. I know it doesn't feel like it right now, but we've seen so many instances where the... Lack of range on these towers with the option we've chosen here is a big problem. And the tower goes down. Uh, Traffic jam. People, 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 one after the other. Take your time. Archers take priority. They are military. They have weapons. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> this is stupid. This is... Pro Age of Empires here... Pro Age of Empires here and here and here and here. The archers are on the loose. These towers are now being attacked. These archers are trying to go somewhere where there isn't a tower, but best of luck to you. What is this chaos? What is this chaos? And villagers are still going down. Like, Ozone still hasn't lost a villager. And he's killed so many. He's done a really nice job. Those archers need to stay out of the tower range, which they can't do if they want to go in and kill the villagers right now. Um, uh, that archer has been found and trapped and punched to death by villagers. But here, there's still archers. And... Tower down? <laughs> Guys, at what point does Ozone run out of stone? Like, <laughs> he's repaired so much. 
and build so many towers. <laughs> this is stupid. How has Ozone not lost? Ozone's killed so many bills. Oh my god. It's still even too, which is the funny thing. This tower is awkward. But hey, I mean, Matador is making progress. Now, unfortunately for him, his archers have, have ventured in too close to the towers again. Yeah, Ozone is micring like a maniac with his bills. Now, there is an archer here, which he has to deal with. That's kind of what I was thinking. You get the archers here, and not a, you don't use the archers against the towers just yet. So easy to, of course, be distracted and then lose an archer just like that. And he's down to two archers now. Um... And then, and then you look away, and then your archer goes down there. Vills are genuinely working. And the regen is pretty fast on these vills. Oh my goodness, dude. This is crazy. I think Matsador might not have enough here, guys. I think he might... I mean, he still can't push... He can't take resources consistently on these sides. And his vills are probably all super weak right now. So I think if you're going to do anything, I think you need to send more. Right? This is where I think you have to go with, like, 15 vills to one side. Instead of, you know, five or six. Maybe a little bit more commitment. But then that could lead to more losses. And, man, Ozone has really done a nice job, I have to say. Again, beautiful repairing. Matador is probably just waiting for these towers to go down, and they never do. Fletching now for Matador. He has three archers. One is in a TC. <laughs> one is being microed here. And I, 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 the other one must have died. I, I don't know where the other one is. Ozone is also out of stone. He could take stone over here. If you thought towers... And if you think towers are strong right now, guys... Imagine what they would have done with normal balance had we not adjusted the towers. Yeah, Matsador's just completely overwhelmed. It's been a long series. Like I said, players have said that this makes their brain turn to mashed potatoes when they play these settings. And I think full-on vill rushing and uh, and tower rushing is more of a mashed, mashed potato type of strat, to be honest with you. I'm still not sure it's going to work. Tower's still being attacked. Fletching is in. Fletching will help the tower that Matador has massively. Matador is micring with archers now. I love how the full work could fit here, which is hilarious. Because we commented on how full works couldn't usually fit. Yeah, and now Matador could just take the resources at Ozone's base. This freaking tower is still not down, though. My goodness. Yeah, so now that you have Fletching, you can realistically deny so many resources with these archers if you're Matador. And you don't have to run far for your archers to be where they're needed. Like here, th this is what I mean. Boom. 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 It should be a dead vill. And it should be more dead vills because of these archers. And at what point do you just run out of food? And you can't make more vills. And you can't make farms because you're poles. Oh, well, you can make farms, but they won't be around full works. This food is actually so, so important right now. At what point does Matador run out of wood? Like, does he lumber camp the middle? Oh, Archer's into the wood line! Matador's held on! Matador's held on! And this no army approach from Ozone is not working anymore. This is the point in the game we were waiting for. He's dropping a market now. To try and buy and sell some resources and balance things out. As he's got Vills on the right side of Matador's base. Vills on the left side of Matador's base. And then villagers stuck at home. And in towers. Now I wonder if started, some of these towers start to get battered down. Uh, it's still not enough Vill commitment. Oh god. Oh, not the archers. Not the archers! Not the archers! I'm very afraid! Ugh! And I don't know the exact range of the towers. They might not be able to range that side. And Matador, he he senses there's an opportunity here. So he's just YOLOing for it himself. And he will take that tower down. Really good archer control here from Matador. These archers are clutch. He's losing his own vills. 
which is not great, but he's also killing Vils. They've lost similar amounts of villagers <laughs> over the last couple minutes. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. And the towers stay up. Towers stay up. Villagers have to run home, though. They run directly into more archer bolts. And remember, TC range is affected as well, right? So this TC cannot range those archers. It feels so unnatural, doesn't it? Okay, so I think maybe at this point, you just buy your way to castle for Bodkin Arrow or Siege. And like, I, it feels weird to say, do Vils even matter at this point? Because they obviously do matter. But because they've lost so many, I wonder if it's best to just wait for Castle Age. Feels like every other time players wait till Castle Age, they're screwed though. I think a big thing here for Matador is he cannot be allowing his opponent to take gold. This needs to be denied. At least, like, force Ozone into a tower there. And, and he just he just can't content he cannot go there with so few bills. Oh, oh, nice play though. Do you see that little whoop into the tower and out? Every time I look at Ozone's Vills, though, they're fresh again, which is so uncommon. Matsador maybe has his rally point from his TC set to that tower. Oh, tower's going up from Ozone. He knew his gold was going to be vulnerable, but the archers are here. Will he get this tower up to defend the golds? Does the tower even defend the gold? I think that the archers could actually sit over here. It's not a spot you want to sit if you're uh, El Matador. But I, I honestly, could sit underneath the tower as well. Peak Age of Empires, my friends. Look at these villagers go drop off wood right now. That lumber camp needs to be deleted. This is hilarious. Oh, he's going. He's going. The archers are on the way. He's going yet again. Matador will definitely lose villagers here. He's lost so many before. We have repairs from Ozone. This is complete chaos. The archers are coming in. Ozone's in and out of his towers. He will lose that one. Will he lose this one? Oh, God. The archers have gone down. I'm worried. There might be more coming, though. I can't quite tell. I don't know where they are. I don't know what is happening. I know the archers here have died, though. But the tower is going down. And this tower has no villagers in it. And Matador has somehow... <laughs> as he micros that archer. Has somehow found some room to breathe. Now, I would immediately drop my own tower here. So I had some form of defense. Oh, the archers were over here! That was a sick find! They both have lost so many bills. Like, 50 bills have gone down in this game. And it's not over, because we've seen maps with these settings before. I think Matsudor can realize Ozone's not paying attention here, though, and is just taking a risk. And it's paying off. And now he's been spotted. I think if this tower goes down, uh, yeah, if this tower goes down, then Matador is going to be feeling really good. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to the smallest slopes ever. These games have been insane. And, like, I debated bringing in people who are kind of, like, mid-rank for this. And I do think with more small maps, we'll do mid-ranks as well. But these games have been wildly competitive at times. I mean, one of them was only three and a half minutes. But, but still, it is really interesting to see what happens when you put really high-level players in here. I'm still concerned for Matador's Vill HP. Like, the Polish healing is huge. If there's any attack here... Those Vills are a sneeze away from death. And actually, Ozone's making his own archers, but he's over here right now. And Matador sees him. Matador found him. Matador sees the archers too. Nice micro there from Ozone, actually. Really nice micro. Matador needs some defensive towers of his own here. These archers are not making it out alive. They will be killed by the Vills. He's going to try his best to take the archers. But he gets found. Archer count similar. Double range for Ozone. Vill count is even somehow. There's wood available for both. There's gold available for both. And now Matador drops a tower, which he obviously needs. 
ozone is let's see access to resources here so he's got um 1400 golds matador has 300 golds that's a big deal but matador can take this gold with a mining camp huh archers now if they leave the, the problem was sitting underneath the tower ozone's probably so annoyed with matador's micro right now that, that's insane micro how has he not lost an archer yet but the problem is if you run you just die to the tower anyways so it's like you're just stuck there let's let's zoom out let's cl double click the bills for matador and look at the hp so 576 hp out of a possible 960 these villagers are half dead and a tower like this because villas are going to randomly go to these trees. It's going to be really effective. What a game. Into the tower. Saved. Hmm. Castlage needs to come in, guys. You got you to gotta use Castlage here. It can help you with Bodkin. It can help you with Crossbow. This is an Archer and Tower War at this point. I think Ozone is going to try and rush down this tower, which I think is really smart. That's door will hop out now. Now, do... Uh, I don't know what to what to say here. Ozone's Archer Micah really good underneath that tower. But now Matador realizing the situation. He does micro back as well. He does lose his tower though. So now he's lost the front of his base. Ozone has more archers than him. Ozone runs into the TC. Loses two archers but will drop a tower now. And so many times when we've said this. You make it to Castellade you need the benefit. You can't fit a siege workshop in any of the land you own if you're Matador. That's not possible. And you can't afford the crossbow upgrade or Bodkin arrow upgrade, possibly. This could be awful for El Matador. And amazing for Ozone. And Ozone, th this feels like this has happened if you watched all these games. Like every single game where Matador goes up to Castle. And then Ozone just has that, that extra level of pressure. Look how weak these bills are. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's happening. It's happening. Oh. It's happening more. No. Matador. He can't take any resources, guys. He can't go anywhere. Matador's villagers can go to these farms and fight over which two people get to work. And that's it. I mean, a siege workshop is the only thing that could bring him out of this. But you might need to delete the town center <laughs> to do it. Okay, there we go. Um, Couple quick walls. I'm sure Matador's hoping that these vills can still take wood without dying. Ozone sees the siege. Is now denied. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, this has become Matador's life now. In and out. Take your time. In and out. In, out. In, out, in. Out, in. Okay, good. And now Siege is on the way. Still maybe winnable. And I'm not I'm not kidding. I, I think Siege should destroy the towers. It should destroy the archers. I'm not sure if it destroys the Vils. But that is to be seen. Remember, like in a normal game, the tower range would be too strong like this many towers would be too strong for siege here not necessarily the case boom archer's dead now it is very likely that matador will run out of gold to repair a mangano at a crucial moment here i'm speaking from experience hmm <laughs> guys these bills are still somehow dropping off enough wood it's like, where do you start, though? Like, what tower do you go after first? I guess you go after this one. Double mang it out. A triple... Third one's on the way. Guys, this is winnable for Matador. 100%. Cav armor! Where's the stable even at? Ozone needs to stay futile and go scout. He has three farms. I don't see a stable yet. Maybe it's... No. Oh, there it is. Okay. Tower will go down. Two towers will be lost from Ozone. Now again, a normal game, you can expect 
it's going to be scouts here. Um, Matador is basically going to be praying that his opponent can't make knights. So you're, you're still expecting a stable, but you can't really afford to do anything about it. So the key here for Ozone is to wait until you have enough scouts where you can definitely kill the siege. But this is a problem. 13 villagers against 35. But all of these vills can die. Okay, you know what you do? When you go scout an archer rush, you actually bring 10 of your vills. You bring the vills into the fight. That would be the epic play here. If you don't bring the vills, it could be a problem. If you bring the vills, you're definitely killing all the siege. Sure, you lose 10 to 15 vills, but if your opponent can't make more... Oh, man. Oh, man. It's so hidden away here. It's so hidden behind this. Boom. Big shot. There, okay, there are the scouts. So you're going to lose this one if you're uh, Matador. You have to not lose the others. Oh! He knew he was going to lose that Manganel. He attack grounded his own Manganel. He actually could add some spears now. And maybe wait. Now, you can't move out too far. It's still a little risky. Uh, it does have gold. He's booming now. Okay. There's the spears. Now they have the... the <laughs> The barracks next to the triple tower stack has to produce that. But look at all these bills. Oh, 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 come on, Matador. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> okay, it's all right. We, we'll clip that out. We'll clip that out. We'll clip that out. That's definitely not going to YouTube. Uh, this villager is, is being stupid and wants to go chop a tree. It shouldn't. TC for Ozone could go down soon. Did you see how uncertain? Actually, I don't mind a counterattack idea. Quick wall. Nice. Wow! Sick! Oh. Well, okay. I like that idea from Ozone a lot here. Because you, you want to punish Matador for not having anything to defend. But honestly, at the same time, you also very much need to defend your TC. This is an amazing game. That... Walling in the siege would be epic if he can get this full wall down. Ozo needs to come fast. Ozo needs to come out here fast. He needs to deal with this, and he needs to come from three different angles or something because this he cannot allow the siege to be walled in. And this is what we said: bring the vills, bring the vills. Oh, a big shot! A big shot! But there's just so much happening, and Matador can make more. He has killed a lot here. He kills even more, which maybe makes you think there's hope. The Manganels get pulled back to the TCs. There's no build. There's a spear. Defend it. Spearman. Oh, my God. Oh, God. He's got more. He only has four bills inside. No. The dream is dead. Matador is a nine pop. And it's 39 pop for Ozone, and Ozone's just going to drop another tower. A risky tower if there's going to be Siege. Holy. What a crazy game. And he drops the, the triple G because it wasn't just a good game. It was a great good game. GG. Honestly, that was a masterclass from Ozone. Like, Ozone just hits these hit this point in this game where he clearly understood how many vills he needed to repair with. He understood where to task his towers, whether it was enemy villagers or enemy, um, enemy villagers or enemy archers. And it was just consistent pressure all the time. And even there, like when Matador made it to castle, he was able to figure it out eventually. That was really impressive. I think for Matador, it was really close. Like, maybe if he kept an extra archer or two alive, things could have been a bit different for him. I'm sure he's a bit exhausted now, being down 5-2, but he honestly played super well. I loved how he he added the spears. I loved his siege micro, but he just didn't have the bills at this point. It's like, I think the regenerating of the Polish villagers was the biggest bonus here. Forget about the gold you get from Mining Stone. Forget about the full works in the farms. I actually think... Ozone's villagers regenerating helped him so much more than we can actually show because he was constantly attacking and, and like fighting with villagers. So crazy stuff. Uh, very impressive stuff. Uh, here's the, uh, the res collected. I am curious on this. 
Obviously, the player with more villagers is going to collect more. Still, though, it does feel like with how difficult it was for Matador the last 10 to 15 minutes that this is not as big a difference as you would have expected. But um, yeah, Matador just couldn't quite keep the army count up. So in some ways, the towers are less punishing here than ever compared to other small maps because of the adjustment we made. But in other ways, it's like... It, it, it baits players into thinking Castle Age is going to make a difference and then they just they lose so much. I don't know. It's like... Okay, so how do I word what my what my brain is thinking right now? Okay. So offensively, towers are not as strong. Okay. However, and I think this has been the, the thing, is players are very used to dropping one defensive tower to defend as they go up to Castle Age and that's it. Players are not remembering that in defense, the towers are not as strong. And that is what has cost some players in, in, so far in these games. So going forward with them is like, it can still hold the map, I guess. And you're not counting on that to do everything for you. So it's kind of okay if they're not as strong. But when you're planning for a defensive one, that's where it can get really tricky. And that's what happened here for El Matador. Oh, shoot. I'm supposed to say, hey, guys, everyone who watched this, I don't know when this is hitting YouTube, actually. This is most likely happening right around the time Hidden Cup 5 is going to be starting. Um, main event of Hidden Cup, February 25th through March 3rd. We will see this map. We will not see as many towers. I need you, and I promise you will be entertained if you show up, uh, watch the YouTube live stream or the Twitch live stream for the main event. We'll also, of course, have videos. But uh, yeah, this is a Hidden Cup map. I kind of forgot about that because of all the death and destruction and towers. But, uh, poof, what a game.